So hello everyone, today we are going to continue our discussion about the use of statistical concepts in assessment. So last time we ended up discussing the measures of central tendency. Today, we are going to continue our discussion with the measures of variation or variability. But we are going to concentrate only with three of its concepts, which are the range, the standard deviation, and the variance. Specifically, we are going to focus in the standard deviation. How to interpret the score or the standard deviations in assessment or what is the use of standard deviation when it comes to giving the scores of your students. Now, let us see. What is variability? What is variation? When we say variation, that means uh, it's synonymous to variety, meaning sinusukat natin kung ano yung pagkakaiba-iba ng scores ng mga estudyante natin. Variety, variation. Sinusukat natin yung average variation niya. Okay? So, tignan natin mabuti. When it comes to the range, that's the first topic here. The range refers to the highest score. HS refers to the highest score. While LS refers to the lowest score. It's highest score minus the lowest score. That's what we refer to as the range. Now, suppose you have five students. You have to deal with the scores of these five students. For instance, our example here is this. For instance, you have a student who got 15, 20, 12, 10, and 15. So, in order for you to get the range of the scores, you have to identify the highest score, that's 20, and then the lowest score, that's 10. Subtract the 2. So, it's 20 minus 10 equals 10. The range of the scores is 10. Okay? So, range refers to the difference between the highest score and the lowest score. That's the interpretation. So, if your um, if your teacher would be saying that the average score of yours of the students or the average score of the class in an examination is 50 and then the range is 10, you would have a glance that the highest scorer, since the average is 50, that's the center, meaning that's the central tendency, you just simply have to determine that if there are 50 average then and the range is 10, you would have an idea that the highest score is 55 while the lowest score is 45. Why? Because the range is 10. And the difference, meaning the average or the middle, the center of 10, is 5 or 5.5. Now, you just simply have to add 5 doon sa 50 and subtract 5 to 50 in order for you to have a view kung ano yung highest score at ano yung lowest score. So, you would have a glance kung ano yung klase ng scores na meron ka. At makikita mo rin, since makikita mo rin na kung ang average ay 50, imagine niyo mabuti yung mga interpretations sa Kung ang average ay 50, that's the mean or the average, that's 50. And then, the range is 10. Okay. Sabi doon, ang range ay highest score minus the lowest score. So, tingnan natin mabuto yung sinabi ko kanina ha, kung paano na-process yun. Paano naging 45 yung lowest score? Paano naging 55 yung lowest score? Ang range ay diferensya ng highest at lowest score. So, para makuha mo yung highest score at lowest score, kinakailangan sa gitna ng dalawa na yun ay 10 yung kalalabasan ng difference. So, paano ang gagawin mo? I-divide mo sa 2 yung range. Pag na-divide mo siya sa 2, you're gonna get 5. Okay? So, divide it by 2, you're gonna get 5. Now, for the highest score, the highest score will be obtained ng mean plus 5. That is 50 plus 5 equals 55. Now, the lowest score is the mean minus 5. So, that will be 50 minus 5 equals 45. So, meaning, 
your highest score is 55 while your lowest score is 45. Kung makikita ninyo that the scores of the students only are inside 45 to 55. Ganun yun. Ganun yung idea. Ibig sabihin din nun, anong interpretation nyo? What kind of data do you have? What classification of data do you have? Do you have a heterogeneous or a homogeneous data? Based on the discussion in central tendency, what kind of data do you have if your range is 10 and the average or the mean is 50? So therefore, you have a homogeneous data. Why? Dikit, dikit ang scores because the range is 10. Okay? So this range will send you a message about what kind of data do you have. Basta, given the new mean. Para makita ninyo kung ano talaga yung klase ng scores na meron kayo. Malalaman mo kung homogeneous ang data mo o heterogeneous ang data mo kung ang gamit na measure of variability ay range kapag given din ang mean. Pero, yung susunod na i-discuss natin, ang kagandahan niya, even if the mean is not mentioned, it can independently tell you whether the data is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Okay? So, we move now to the second one, which is the standard deviation. The standard deviation could be easily computed. I believe this was taught to you in your subjects like contemporary mathematics and research statistics. So, we are not going to discuss on it anymore. But, what we're going to do is that we will interpret or we will uh, have an idea kung paano kinagamit ang standard deviation when it comes to the scores of your students. Okay? The standard deviations formula is this. If you have the sample size, let's, that's why it's n minus 1. Okay? This is read as um, the summation of the difference between the square difference, sorry, the summation of the square difference between the score and the mean. Okay? Yung iba, sa mathematics, ang tawag nila, ang ginagamit nila na uh, reading dyan is summation of the quantity. Yung parenthesis ay tinatawag nilang quantity. While, um, here, so, it's divided by n minus 1 and then the square root. Okay? So, it means this the standard deviation is the square root of the summation of the square difference between the mean and the score divided by n minus 1. So, you cannot compute for that. You just simply plot it this way. If these are the scores, ito yun. And then, computing yung muna yung mean. Ano ba yung mean? I discuss natin yung sa central tendency. That's the average of the score. Then, plot it out. Kapag na-plot mo siya, ito yung summation. Ia-add mo siya lahat. Ilalagay mo lang siya doon. Okay? It's just as simple as that. But that's not the thing that I want to teach unto you. Because when you take the licensure examination, di ka naman pagpukomputing doon ng standard deviation. But there will be questions about the standard deviations in relation to the scores of your students. So what are we going to do? Remember this, the standard deviation refers to the average, I will repeat, that's the average deviation. Meaning, pag deviation ang sinabi natin, we are referring to deviation. So for instance, the mean is this, and the mean is 13, okay? Deviation refers to going beyond, may it be lower or higher than the mean, okay? So there are some scores which are higher than the mean, which are lower than the mean, which can be within the mean, or higher again and lower again. So these are the dispersal, sorry, these are the dispersals. And that's what you measure when it comes to the standard deviation. You measure the difference, these average differences, from the mean. Sinusukat mo kung ano yung fluctuation ng score mula sa mean. Kaya ang reference mo ay mean. Ito bang Mga scores ng sudyante, mas mataas o mas mababa sa mean. Yun yung tinatawag natin na standard deviation. Okay? Now, paano mo siya ini-interpret? Most of the time, 
it will be like this. Your teachers would be saying, ang standard deviation ng score natin ay 10. O ang standard deviation ng score natin ay 2. Ito yung interpretation. Remember this. The lower the standard deviation, I will repeat, the lower the standard deviation, the more that the scores are congregated. Or the more that the scores are intact. Meaning, the data is homogeneous. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka homogeneous, magkakalapit lang ang score. The smaller the standard deviation, mas magkakalapit ang score. But when the standard deviation is big, it means that the scores are heterogeneous. Ibig sabihin nun, watak-watak ang uh, scores. It's more spread. Okay? It's more dispersed. Hiwa-hiwalay ang score. Yun yung sinasabi natin na may mga outliers. Meron masyadong matataas, meron masyadong mabababa. Yun ay kapag mataas ang standard deviation. So, minsan, yun yung maganda doon. You don't have to know the mean for you to know that the scores are spread or not. Hindi mo na kailangan. Hindi ka tulad ng range na kinakailangan mong malaman ng mean para malaman mo kung nakaspread ba yung scores or hindi. Kung homogenous ba yung score or hindi. Dito, just by knowing the standard deviation, you would know na matataas ang, ah, na malaki ang pagkakawatak-watak ng score or maliit lang yung diferensya ng bawat score. Pero, hindi pa rin kumpleto kasi doon yung information kung standard deviation lang. Kinakailangan mo pa rin yung mean scores. Bakit? Sa pamamagitan ng pag-alam ng mean scores, malalaman mo kung ilang mga estudyante ang sobrang tataas ang score o ilang porsyento ng estudyante ang sobrang tataas ng score at ilang porsyento ng mga estudyante ang sobrang bababa ng score. At it will be discussed thoroughly when we tackle the normal distribution curve. And that will be the next topic that we will discuss. Okay? So, ulitin ko. The standard deviation refers to the dispersal of scores, meaning the variation of scores. That's the average variation. And you need that in order to know whether the data is homogeneous or heterogeneous, meaning kung ang scores ng mga sudyante ay watak-wata o ang scores nila ay intact o magkakalapit lang na. Okay? And then, aside from the standard deviation, we also have the third one. This will be fast. I will just uh, tell you that squared standard deviation is the variance. Okay? You got the standard deviation and then you get it. Uh, you will multiply it by itself. You're gonna get the variance. Okay? The variance formula here, the sign of standard deviation is this. So you will see that squared standard deviation is the variance. Or, when it comes to the formula, you just take off the square root. That's the variance, okay? If the variance is the squared standard deviation, the standard deviation is the square root of your variance, okay? So, it has the same interpretation. It would be referring to the fluctuation of scores. So remember that if you would like to see really the dispersal of scores, you have to understand or you have to know whether the given thing is the variance or the standard deviation. Because it's easier for you to interpret the standard deviation than the variance. For example, there is a, there is a problem and it says there that the measures of variability is 25. The variation of scores is 25. What kind of measure was done? If the thing was which was done is the variance, meaning 25 is the variance, then you have to get it, then get the standard deviation of 25 first. And the standard deviation of 25 is 5 because standard deviation refers to the square root of the variance. And the square root of 25 is 5. That's the only point of time that you can interpret whether the scores are dispersed or not because you, you were able to get the standard deviation which is 5. Okay? Pero pag variance ang given, hindi mo pa yun may interpret Kasi hindi mo alam if it is large or not. Kasi it's hard to identify 25 kasi kaagad yun. Okay? So that is all about the measures of variation. Later on, we are going to discuss in the next video, but it will also be uploaded today. Um, we are going to discuss the normal distribution curve and how it is used in assessment and the relationship of the normal distribution curve to the standard deviation and to the mean scores.
according to the central tendency and to the measures of variability. Thank you so much. I hope you are learning something today. Thank you.